Live from the entertainment capital of the world. This is Marco and Jeets in the morning. Thought maybe we do is get some stories about some cool cops. Cool cop of the day. Yeah, I like that. Every morning about 9.05. Cool cop of the day. Now we hear so many negative things, but the reality is most of these cops are just so great. They're just great people. They're not doing it for the money, public service. Very underpaid and very underappreciated. So if you've got a great story about a cool cop, uh, call us real quick. 702-791-1075. Won't keep you long on the air, but just a real quick story about a cool cop. Something happened, and maybe you assumed the worst, and it was a great outcome. So cool cop story. It's 702-791-1075. I'll tell you this real quick story I just found. I think it's very cool. This family had just moved from Alaska back to Eugene, Oregon. Okay. All right. And uh, they were parked in a parking lot, and it was getting late. It was like 7 o'clock at night. So a cop pulls in, and he goes, hey, um, you guys got to move. You, you can't park here. It's a, it's a private business, and you just can't sit here. Sure. Um, he noticed, though, in the back there was two kids, and the kids had taken out bed sheets, and they were putting the sheets on the seats. And that's because they were getting ready to go to sleep. The car was their home. Right. What, what had happened was is the family, the guy just lost his job in Alaska, so he moved back to Oregon, but he lost his job, he didn't have any money. They were sleeping in their car. Mm. And the cop said, look, what's going on? He tells him the story. And he goes, look, follow me. So the cop drives to a local motel, swipes his card uh, for two nights, gives the family two nights, then calls a local church and says, there's this family, they need help. It's fantastic. The church steps in. Uh, the family gets a place to stay for a couple of weeks, and they help the guy find a job. Uh, find a job. Help the family get an apartment. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they could have slapped. He could have slapped the guy with a ticket. You know, trespassing the whole thing. Right. Spends his own money. Takes him to a hotel. And uh, what a scene that! What a scene that is to what? see two kids putting the sheets. I mean, it's just terrible. But you know, that was like their normal. This the, that stuff happens more often than not. That's but right. You never hear. Never about Never hear it. about it. So. Um, you know, I think it's just um, one of those things. You know, I said the other day on Monday, I went on this little rant and um, got a lot of positive feedback. I was just 100% support of the cops. Um, and it just got a, a 99% of the reaction was positive. Um, for anybody that thought it was negative, you're just out of touch. Right. But, you know, and that's my thought. But it was just completely the, the outpouring, the, the people, the, the Facebook. It was just awesome. So I thought if we did a cool cop of the day... Um, Story at 905. We get a couple quick stories every day. Yeah. And just throw I love something it. positive out there, man. Hey, Alex, welcome to the show. How's it going, man? Good, man. Real quick, cool cop of the day. What do you got? All right. So, it was a couple years ago. Um, I was hanging out uh, over on the end of Sahara. There's like a big uh, hill up there, and there's a nice view of the whole city. Yep. So, uh, we're hanging out there. It's uh, starting to get late in the night, and uh, these uh, there's, uh, there's quite a few of us up there. There's about 15 of us. And, uh, you know, we're making a little bit of noise, but uh, this uh, this pair of cops come up, and we thought we're all totally in trouble. They uh, come up, they introduce themselves, and, you know, they're, you know, super positive about it, and I'm not trying to, you know, freak anybody out. But uh, they come up, and they start just talking to us, and it turned out to be a really cool experience. Uh, the cops were super nice. We were, like, taking selfies with them, and, like, it, it was just, it was a good time. So, you know, there's not... There's a lot of stuff going around in the news right now about like negativity with the police and everything, but there there are those cops out there. That's awesome. Yeah, that good is story, awesome. Alex. Good story. You out there just chilling, some desert, dark night. Cops roll up, and I get it. Your feelings like, oh god, you know they're assuming, right. the and then they just chill with you and hang out, taking pictures. That is awesome. Uh, Anthony, hello. How's it going? Good man. Real quick, cool cop of the day. What do you got? Uh, so went out for Fourth of July and uh, met some new people. Uh, hanging out, riding around beach cruisers, happened to roll myself a joint. And uh, one of the guys that I just met that evening said, let's go, you know, let's ride the bikes over to the store real quick, grab some more beers. Hop on the bike, start cruising over. Uh, I pull out the joint, light it up, go to pass it to him. He looks at me and says, sorry, man, but uh, I'm NHP. I can't, I can't be doing that stuff. <laughs> I, I, I immediately froze and was like, oh, you know, like, holy crap, he was going away. And he told me to go pick the thing back up off the ground and enjoy the night and, you know, let's have some fun. And, oh, man. And, uh, well, so that's just, listen, and actually, you, you shouldn't be smoking and driving, but I will tell you. That well, is. I was a, riding a bike. Right? Oh, yeah, oh, oh a bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But right. the cop gave you the green pass. <laughs> Good he job. Did. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. He actually is now one of my good buddies. I hang out with him all the time. There you go. 
That is a cool. That is a very cool cop. Yeah. Yo, Justin. Yes, sir. Cool cop of the day. What do you got? Um, I was in my uh, late teens. I just kind of dropped out of high school. Was hanging out with some older guys a lot. So at night, you know, I'd be walking home late at night because I didn't have a car and. Uh, I saw this uh, Metro Cruiser go flying by, and then I heard the road dots on the tires. I was like, oh, crap, he's turning around. And Dude, I was still underage at the time. He rolls up. He's like, how old are you? I'm like 16. He goes, you been doing any drugs or anything? He's like, no. He's like, you mind if I pat you down? I was like, yeah, go ahead, no problem. He goes, all right, uh, get in the car. I was like, what? He goes, get in the back seat, and he opened up the door. I was like, oh, crap, I thought I'm going to jail, right? So he goes, he, he puts me in the back of the car. He starts driving down the street. Now, my wallet was still on the hood, and we kind of both noticed it about 45 miles an hour down Decatur. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I see. So he pulls over. He gets out. He grabs my wallet, gets back in the car. He literally drove me like the four-mile walk to my house. Says, your, is any of your parents up? I said, no. He goes, all right, well, make sure one of them's up. And <laughs> So I go in, and sure enough, my mom is actually awake. And so I was like, hey, this guy at the door wants to talk to you. She goes, what? And she looks up, and she sees the cop. She goes, oh, what did you do? And I said, I was just walking home. So he comes in and sure enough, he goes, yeah, you know what your son's doing? And she's like, yeah, he's, he dropped out of school. And he's, I know he's out past curfew. He goes, all right, well, I just want to make sure he got home safe. And well, that's that you cool. knew what was going on. That's Have very a good cool. night and turned around and walked out. Very cool. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. And uh, your lucky day, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could have been it, an easy curfew ticket. And, yep. You know, obviously, I wasn't anything else wrong. but Or he could have lost that wallet. <laughs> yeah, then the wallet. Yeah, there's a yeah. whole wallet thing. <laughs> Good job, Justin. I didn't have any money anyways. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, cool cop of the day, Deontay. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, welcome to the show. What do you got? Well, I have another marijuana story, but <laughs> pretty much, um, long story short, I was on my way home from work, and, you know, I was in a little rough neighborhood, but I'm on my way home, and I see a cop behind me, and, you know, he's following me, running my plates. So he pulls me over, and mind you, I have half a joint in my car. So I'm like, oh, my God. So I think he's going to smell. He's going to do all that stuff. So he pulls me over, immediately he smells it, tells me to get out the car, and he sees a joint right in the um, in the ashtray. So he asks me all these questions and, like, where would you get it from, like, who you bought it from. And, you know, honestly, I plead the fifth. <laughs> right, right. Other than that. You know, he was like running my information. I was ten to six. And then, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to jail, and he told me to to leave. And then, as soon as I was about to go into my house, he said, "Come back here." I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> so he comes back. He gives me my joint back. <laughs> no. So I'm Surprise like, "Surprise ending." Oh my god! You just gave me my joint. He's like, "Yeah, just don't <laughs> ever say, don't ever say nothing about it again." And here I am talking about it again. Very, very interesting yeah, twist listen. for cool cop of the day, but we'll take it. Yeah. Interesting twist, but we'll take it. He was that cool. He yeah. gave you one piece of instructions, and you broke it. Uh, uh, Deontay, good call, man. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, dude. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you know, these are just stories you, you don't hear, and um, <laughs> that – that is cool. You know, the guy, he's got a half a joint, whatever, whatever. Right. Hey, man, take the joint. Go inside. Enjoy yeah. the joint. Just like he said, don't mention it again, whatever. Probably should have said, don't call that radio station in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? You guys got any good I'll cool tell you. Yeah, stories? I'll tell you one thing. I got, uh, I got uh, when I was a kid, I, a kid, I was like 17, and same thing, like a curfew thing, like out late at night, and my buddies all ran. The cops rolled up, and then my buddies all ran, and I'm like, I, it was like this hill and this fence, and I knew I couldn't make it over the fence because I was kind of a little bit below them. Mm -hmm. And the cop comes up. He's like, well, well, well. He's like, so you didn't run. I was like, I wouldn't have made it over that fence. I was like, I was way too far down on the hill. And he's like, nah, I'd have gotten you. He's like, uh, I got to take you home. I was like, dude, I, please, I just, you know. <laughs> right. And we're getting into the car, and he's like, and I'm like, dude, I'm going to graduate high school. I just don't, you know. He's like, I'll tell you what, because you didn't run. He's like, I'll take you anywhere you want to go but home. I was like, can you just drop me off at my buddy's house? And he did it. And he did it. Cool, cool guy. Didn't yeah. have to do it. And he said, you know what? Your buddies, they'll get theirs. He's like, they've got a four or five mile walk home. And it was freezing cold that night because we were sneaking out to go sneak into these girls' house. Sure. He goes, you got a nice ride home. They got a walk. He goes, and I'm probably going to catch them later. <laughs> cool guy. He didn't have to do it, but That's he good. did it. So. Uh, cool cop of the day. I figure we'll do that every morning around 9.05 or so and uh, get some great stories about some cool cops on the air. You got some great women, some great men, some great canines working. 
And um, we'll just tell good stories about it. Yeah, I love it. Even if it's like, hey, man, take your joint back. That's cool. It's Marco and Jeets X1075.